Hey everybody, Sean hey and Allison here from Spoken Garden and we're here to help you become a better gardener. Yeah, so today we are going to talk to you about bare root Edo peonies yeah. and how to plant them. But before we get into that, we want to let you know this video is sponsored by Crescent Garden. Yeah, Crescent Garden is a wonderful container company. If you're not familiar with them, they make beautiful functional containers, all different sizes, shapes, colors. Yeah, we want to highlight the RIM container with True Drop technology. So go ahead and click the link down below in the description of this video and check it out. It's a great container. So let's check out these Edo peonies and get started planting. Sounds good. Okay, you guys, so we have two Edo peonies here and you're not gonna believe how big these are. If you're not familiar with Edo peonies, we're gonna show you, it, they're pretty cool. So here's one of them. Here, and this the is one. called First Arrival. I'm gonna show you, Oop, let me turn it around. This is the whole bare root. Isn't that crazy? It's this whole structure right here. This is the root of the Edo peony. And so you can see right up here, right here and here and even back here these are all growing buds off of this root structure and there's even more around this and so we need to place this whole thing in one of these two pots and we're going to show you how to do that i know these are so cool now this one's called cora louise oh beautiful and look, at, look that. at these huge growing tips those you guys i mean they're like ready to uh, almost pop. as big as my thumb so we can't wait and you know wow. i wish i could show you Sorry, these got wet. I don't know if this really, if you can see, it's a white flower with a bright hot pink center. And they're huge. These Edo peonies have mm -hmm. very, very large yep. plate, almost like dinner plate yep. size. Dinner plate size. Uh, they're blooms. huge blooms. So yeah. these are going to be gorgeous. So here's, here's. Oh, and they're fragrant too, by the way. Yep. And here's the first arrival. You can see that a little bit there. Yep. That's what it's going to look like, but huge, huge. Yeah, it gets uh, two to three feet. This one does. And it blooms in June to July, or know, June and July. So I'm trying to see really when mine cool. bloomed here. This paper got cut in half. So June or July, June through July, and June these get two July. to three feet tall. Yeah. So, so cool. these are really unique peonies because they're actually a hybrid of just general, regular herbaceous peonies, the shrub, the herbaceous perennial, and a tree peony. They they basically hybridized those two plants into one plant, and this is what they came up with. And apparently they have longer blooming time, they have bigger blooms, and some of them rebloom, I think. Yeah, I think so. So, and they're yeah. fragrant. They're supposed to be deer resistant. Which so is really that's good, good where for we're us living. right now, because as you know, we're two hours away from our actual temporary home right now. Yep. So we'll have to decide if we want to bring them back with us or if we just leave them here at my mom's garden yep. where we know they'll be safe. Yeah, and we'll see, maybe we'll keep this, keep them here in this kind of a nursery area to get I them kind of so. growing, get yeah. them healthy, and then we can take them down to the beach. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. So, so are we ready to plant? Yeah, There's a few steps, right? Yeah, so, and we wanted to explain to you too, these are bare root, so let's, let's talk about bare root real quick. Bare root anything is what it sounds like. It's a plant that has bare roots. There's no soil around it, it doesn't come in a pot there's no there's no potting soil there's no like sand or anything around it what it does come in is it comes in this sphagnum it's basically sphagnum peat moss and let me put this down so it comes in this it comes in a bag full of this and it has moisture in it so it keeps it alive just barely because it's not actively growing yet it doesn't grow through the roots yet it hasn't been planted but this keeps it kind of dormant after it's been packaged before it gets to its new home like what we're going to do and it gets planted so it comes in this packaging and that's that's normal for a bare root plant. Sometimes bare root plants will just come bare root. So a lot of plants can come bare root, but not all, right? Nope. Like roses can come bare root yep. and different different types of shrubs maybe? Yep, shrubs, uh, trees. Um, it just depends um, how you're buying them and how people are packaging and handling them to get them to their new homes. That's so, so cool. This is all kind of new for me, so I'm excited to learn a lot more about bare root yeah. planting. So uh, let's get to it. Yep, let's do this. So before you plant your bare root Edo peony, you want to get your pot, fill it with soil. We're putting it in a pot. You don't have to put it in a pot. You can put it in the ground perfectly fine. Whether you're doing it in a pot or in the ground, you can follow these general rules. Now make your hole and um, make your planting hole. And we're going to use uh, potting soil. And it's because it's a great medium for uh, water drainage uh, to have uh, air available. Uh, for the roots of the plant and just as a good anchor for the plant to grow in. Now, you want to water your hole first, moisten the soil below where you're going to place the Edo peony, and that's just to make sure that there's some available water in the soil uh, so when it starts growing, it's going to be able to have that uh, water and suck it up and really start growing. Now, basically what you're going to do is that's the only time you're going to water this in. Um, after you plant it, don't water it until you start seeing 
uh, growth above the soil and then just keep the soil moist. Don't get, keep it too wet and wet all the time. Just keep it moist. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to orient our Edo peony. And to do that, what you want to do is you want to look at all the buds that are starting to break on your Edo peony. And there's a lot of them here. I mean, there's one here. There's one. I don't know if you can see it. There's one right down below there. I don't know if you can see that. So that's really cool. So it's going to be hard to orient this to get all of those buds, to give all those buds a chance to come up um, and start growing, uh, to, to get the full growth out of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to orient this so we have the highest number of buds oriented on the level plane or a levelest plane we can give it to then get them to all come up through the soil. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to orient this kind of like just about like this in this pot. So... And that'll give all of these different buds the chance to come up through the soil. So now I'm going to place this down. And what you want to do is you want to place your Edo peony down into the soil. So these buds are about one to two inches below the soil surface. And so I'm putting this down in here and uh, it's not deep enough. So we need to get this. I'm going to set this on the side. I'm going to dig this out a little bit more because with this orientation, we got to get a little bit deeper. So... Okay, I think that might do it. So let's grab this nice and easy here. Okay, so here's our Edo peony. Here's right about like that, I think. So let's set her down in. And so this isn't flat on all the surfaces for the Edo peony, so I'm going to have to get some soil and just kind of move some soil around and get that underneath there to station that down in there so it stays right there so you can see here's here's our Edo peony here's the tallest bud now we're only going to go up to about here so that's about an inch and a half that'll be close to two inches about an inch and a half and so um want to make sure when you're orienting your Edo peony to in any container when you're planting any plant you only want to have your soil go down um, on the surface on the inside of the pot uh, down from the top of the pot down to about an inch maybe two inches and so you create a reservoir area for water to then uh, gather and then it can slowly percolate down through the soil so that's that's when you're planting any type of plant in a pot that's the soil surface level you want to go to so we're going to be close and if i want to i can kind of just move this around a little bit maybe shake it get it down in there a little bit more there we go that's good so there we go so now after you've placed your Edo peony and you got the right depth, now you just want to put the soil around it. You want to pack it in and, uh, and get it covered. So that's what we're going to do. Just going to nicely place some soil over the top. We don't want to damage those buds. So we're going to be as nice as we can. And again, this is just potting soil. There's nothing funky or, or real fancy about it. Just good old potting soil. Just... Get that there, spread it around. Let's get that leveled out there. And we'll pat it down. Because we want to make it firm. We don't want to push down, like really push it down. We just want to tamp it down and get it firm. So, we're a little too low there. We're going to go a little bit higher with the soil. The finishing soil level is still a little high, so we're going to add some soil. Here we go. All right. Looking good. I like it. I think we're done. Nice. Now we just gotta wait for the first couple buds to punch through uh, the soil surface and then we can start watering this on a regular basis. All right, so Cora Louise is planted. Let's get to first arrival, the next Edo peony, and let's get it in that pot. Okay, you guys, that's a wrap. That's Yay, it. good job, Sean. Thank you. I'm so thankful for you planting those because I cannot wait to see those bloom. I'm so excited I know, to it's going to be fun to watch them grow. Watch them grow. Yep. And we wanted to take the opportunity to thank Crescent Garden again Yay, for sponsoring thank you this so video. Much. Yep. So, you know, guys, if you are interested in looking at new containers to add to your garden, check out the link down below in the description for the RIM container with True Drop technology. Great container. Great container. And so make sure to use the coupon code SPOKEN12 to get 15% off your purchase. I, I know, right? 
Okay, you guys, and so with that, if you have any questions or comments about our planting Edo peonies, if you're wondering um, how to do a different type of bare root, just let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. And make sure to subscribe to our channel so you get updates on our latest videos. Yep, and we'll see you in the next video, yep. you guys. See so you take later. Care and see you next time. Bye bye.